How do you see uh, digital platforms like UMC uh, changing the game for filmmakers uh, who say want to make a small passion project? Well, every actor should create something, especially in this world where there are multiple platforms um, everywhere. Uh, no actor should be sitting around waiting for the phone to ring. Uh, and that is just the bottom line of what it is to be an actor these days. Um, I don't know an actor who doesn't have a project they're working on um, independently. I, I really don't know any. Uh, even the amazing Viola Davis, uh, who is producing uh, something that I'm a part of, uh, a wonderful comedy called American Coco. Um, she's producing, you know. Paula Davis is producing, so every actor should be doing that. You know, every actor, every actor should be doing that. Uh, and places like UMC, they're an actor's dream come true uh, because uh, they looked at my project uh, and they decided that it was worth seeing. It was worth having an audience, that it deserved an audience. And, and that's amazing. Uh, to me, um, as an actor, to um, all my cast and crew, uh, to have a place uh, where our work can be seen, you know, everything that we did can be seen. And so uh, these platforms like UMC, uh, the fact that they work to promote uh, these projects, uh, that they provide, you know, this wonderful digital streaming service that makes it easy for everyone, uh, and you know, that they are constantly providing other filmmakers, mm -hmm. putting more filmmakers in the pipeline, putting more stories through the pipeline. All of that is so important for what we do and for the audiences who come to see what we do. Yeah, I can imagine it's really encouraging yeah. to have uh, someone pick this up and, and help you kind of like give you a feeling like, okay, all right, I did this, they're yeah. watching, yeah. let me do it again. Yeah, it's an actor's dream come true, it really is. And and it makes you want to do it again, even though you know it's going to be hard. <laughs> it makes you want to do it again. You were tremendous in the film. I mean, oh, just wonderful you. acting. Thank you. Uh, and you have enjoyed a successful career in television and film so far. I mean, yes. with The Walking Dead yes. and The Ray Donovan Show and yes. just last year in The Birth of a Nation. Yes. What's next yeah. for you, Daryl? Yeah. Like, what do you got coming up? <laughs> well, uh, I recently played a veteran, actually, on an episode of NCIS, you know, it's been around forever, it's a well-oiled machine. Mm -hmm. And so it was wonderful being a part of it and getting a hug from LL Cool J, oh, of course, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, and I also played a role, a uh, guest starring role in BET's Rebel. Oh. Uh, so that too uh, will be airing um, again on BET soon. Safe um, to say you're a huge supporter of the veterans, right? Yes. Yeah, she is all in the mix Absolutely. representing for us. Exactly. Thank you. And that moment too where they flash back to her veteran experiences. Ah, oh, powerful stuff. Mm -hmm. The writers on that show are doing wonderful. John Singleton, of course, is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, but that show is great as well. So there I was, you know, connected again, the universe bringing this back into my world. I love it. Uh, and I have coming up a comedy, which is wonderful to be a part of something a little different. I do a lot of heavy drama, a lot of horror and all that stuff. A uh, comedy called American Coco, that's the one that's Viola Davis produced. Her production company, Juve, uh, is producing it for ABC streaming. So look, uh, even the major networks are getting into this streaming world. Uh, so um, Urban Movie Channel is doing something that's leading, really, the networks into you know the same kind of um, uh, platform. Uh, so ABC Streaming it will present this. Uh, it's written by D.R. Kilpatrick, who is a, a wonderful writer, um, actor herself. Mm -hmm. uh, and I uh, have a film called West of Hell coming soon, uh, back to the horror and the dark <laughs> stuff, uh, with Tony Todd from Candyman. I don't know if you remember the oh, Candyman wow. films. Uh, the seven foot tall Tony yes, Todd. Yes, still scares uh, me. Don't say it another yeah, time. Yes, yeah. you can't say it three <laughs> times. You only say it twice. But uh, he's he's uh, one of the stars of this film, and uh, working with him was a joy. He's the sweetest guy, uh, not nearly as intimidating uh, behind the scenes as he is on the on camera. <laughs> yes. So uh, I've been having a great time, and I'm going to tell all my friends with the film and with the TV uh, shows uh, about Stand Down Soldier and about Urban Movie Channel. Thank you so much for being here today with us. Thank you, um, Chloe. And we wish you the best of luck Thank to all you. of your future Thank projects. You so much. Thank you. <laughs> and you can watch Stand Down Soldier, written by, produced, directed, and starring Gerald Prescott, streaming now on Urban Movie Channel. For UMC All Access, I'm Chloe Mundazir. Till next time.